สวัสดีค่ะ Good afternoon and welcome to the midday update on Thai b b s World that we will bring you the news what's going on with the COVID-19 latest outbreak in Thailand. We program specifically to covering news on uh, COVID-19. I'm your host Tulip n a k s o m p o p l a o and uh, we'll give you the total of the number today, the timeline of some cases in Bangkok that the BMA. Made an announcement last night, posted on their social media. Also, COVID-19 symptom listed by WHO and information related to pregnancy and breastfeeding, which I think is very uh, interesting, because at least one of the uh, latest cases in n o n t h u r i Province involve a pregnant woman. So, for a lot of people that uh, have some. Uh, curiosity about what should you do if you are pregnant and uh, get infected. Maybe just you know information just doesn't hurt to know a little more. The, we have that information for you from uh, World Health Organization. So we're going to start off with the um, press conference by the CCSA today. Today, CS, CCSA, the Center for COVID-19 o r Situation Administration, or uh, has recorded 369 new cases, the majority of which are in Samut s a k o n Province, discovered through proactive screening. The latest infection brings the total in the new outbreak to 8,186, with 5,266 people having already. Recovered and 2,910 people receiving treatment. Dr. p i s a m a i Sirangsan, which is the assistant spokesperson for CCSA, she said that there are 61 provinces experiencing the latest outbreak right now. And today, Samut Sakon recorded 269 infected immigrant workers and 51 Thais, bringing the total of the province to 4,518. Followed by Bangkok. Uh, recorded 13 cases today, bringing the total of Bangkok to 593. There are 12 imported cases, and all of them are in either state quarantine or alternative state quarantine. So CCSA is asking people in the provinces with reported cases if you have doubt, if you have concern that you might be infected, you have to go consult the doctor and get tested. And uh, if you are in the, if you're a Thai citizen, and if you are in the uh, Red Zone provinces, your checkup will be covered by the government. So just consult your doctor, just to be safe. Now we were talking about Bangkok before. We um, and uh, Bangkok. Is one in several provinces that actually uh, show the timeline of the infected cases. Not every is not required by the government to do so. So n o n t a b r i is another one to do it. So beside the daily briefing of CCSA, there will also be provincial briefing. Um, most of the provinces with infected case do it, some, like n o n t a b r i or BMA. I just told you for Bangkok or Chiang Mai, something like that. So Bangkok just posted a timeline for all 13 new cases yesterday. There are some interesting ones. There's a lot of people that just stay at their home for most of the time. They feel sick, they stay home, and then they finally go see doctors. Or some of them just come back from the province that uh, had some infected cases. But there are several of them that actually have been out and about in the um, shopping mall. Of course, they didn't know that they are infected. But I just think it is a good information for you to know. So if you are in the area and you start feeling sick, maybe it's good to go consult doctor and possibly get tested. So the latest one in the press briefing yesterday evening of Bangkok. The information shows that there are uh, five cases that related to each other. They involve having lunch and dinner together. Some at Rama Central Rama 2 and some at Central Rama 3. 
So I'm just going to give you the rough timeline. Um, actually, on BMA Facebook page, they give you a specific time like 5 p.m., uh, 6 p.m., but I'm just going to give you a rough timeline such as lunchtime or dinner time. On January 3rd, uh, there are infected uh, people have dinner at KFC at Central Rama, through Central Rama 2. January 4th, dinner at Slot Sukiyaki at Central Rama 2. January 6th, evening at Momo Paradise at Central Rama 3. January 7th, all day there are two people that infected stay all day at Starbucks at Central Rama 2. And in the afternoon, they had MK Suki together, MK restaurant at Central Rama 2. And on January 8th, there are some cases that went to have dinner at Momo Paradise at Central Rama 3. And there are some cases have lunch and some had dinner at McDonald's at Central Rama 2. And January 9th, there are some people that have late lunch, like 2 p.m. lunch at the Bright Central Rama 2 and also some dinner at Central Rama 2. So if you happen to be in those places during that time and you start feeling not too well, just go see the doctor, get tested, probably will be the best way to um, just to make sure that uh, you know you're gonna be infected or not. But usually after you uh, get virus into your body, it takes like one to two weeks until you can test, uh, you get tested positive. So, like I said, consult a doctor. And talking about the virus, talking about the virus, the we have been talking uh, talking about the vaccine. We have been talking about vaccine in the past uh, several days, especially because Thailand is about to get the first batch of vaccine from China next month in February. First, two hundred thousand doses that we will give it to our medical personnel and uh, people that have been working in the field in the high risk places and also uh, high risk groups such as the uh, senior or uh, people with chronic diseases. And there have been some doubt raised by many people that whether it is safe to take those vaccines because it's so new and there is some side effect and uh, like Sinovac by China that has uh, that having the final phase a trial in Brazil, in Turkey, uh, I think believe so in Indonesia as well. And their efficacy rates actually only 50.4% in Brazil, uh, 90 something percent in either Turkey or Indonesia. So it's still fluctuated but it's lower than they initially reported at 70 something percent. So people rest out. And also AstraZeneca that Thailand will get in May for 26 million doses is also show some side effect and side effect, if it's bad enough, it's not good, it can kill people. But uh, AstraZeneca has a better uh, efficacy rate at 70 something percent. So because of this concern, the prime minister just want to make sure that people know that he actually serious about the, um, let me show you his Facebook page. Wait. He's actually a uh, post on his Facebook page and said that he will not start the COVID-19 vaccination program in Thailand for Thai people until it is proved to be safe. In his Facebook post, the Prime Minister referred to the report of serious negative side effects suffered by some people who were given the vaccination saying that he has to wait for information from the expert about whether the complications were caused by the vaccine, by other factors. Let me find that. I actually have the screen capture of his post. There it is. He just posted yesterday, late morning. I'm gonna show you his post. And that is his post. So 
he said that uh, the report serious negative side effect is suffered by some people who were given the vaccination saying that he has to wait for information from the experts about whether the complications were caused by the vaccines or by other factors such as poor health or the ages of those inoculated or whether the side effects are in fact acceptable. I'm not sure how you term acceptable side effect, I guess my symptom. He said that for Thai people, he decided not to take the risk and will not rush to inoculate with vaccines which have not been fully tested and will not let Thai people become guinea pigs. He used the word guinea pigs in Thai. And he said the National Vaccine Committee will advise the government and closely supervise the use of COVID-19 vaccines in the country. So while vaccines are not available, he reiterated the importance of everyone taking precautions by wearing face masks, of course, all the time when they leave home observing social distancing and refraining from gathering together. And he added that the effective containment of the disease, all Thais must download the Thai China and Ma China apps. Thailand has placed order for 60 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines with different sources. Like I said, the first shipment of 200,000 doses will come next month by Sino, uh, Sinovac Biotech. And there will be another shipment of 800,000 doses in March and followed by another 1 million in April. And also AstraZeneca, 26 million doses of them in May. Uh, AstraZeneca, not um, entirely important. It's actually, we have an agreement with them to get the technology to produce it in Thailand and it should happen in May. So um, the government was planning to inoculate at least half of the population within this year. But uh, we reported you before, there are some uh, medical experts in Thailand that advise that the government actually should uh, inoculate the whole population, Thai and foreign alike. Um, the high risk group like uh, medical personnel maybe get two doses, but for other people that are not in high risk group, get only first doses first, but everyone gets it. And then uh, the rest, uh, and then people that get only first doses get the second one when it's available, maybe the year after. So uh, he believes that it should be um, the best strategy to build the immunity that he used the word herd of immunity for the whole country. So we don't know yet what the government decided to do. They said initial plan is to give half population the uh, whole two doses, but uh, we have to wait and see because they actually have not uh, finalized the inoculation plan yet. Now let's talk about the symptoms listed by the WHO. I believe there is some symptoms that some of you might not heard or uh, might not aware of because we know in general symptoms is fever, dry cough, and tiredness. But there are some other things. Uh, WHO said that most infected people will, dev will develop mild to moderate illness and recover without hospitalization. And most common symptoms of people infected with COVID-19 vaccine is fever, uh, not COVID-19 vaccine, COVID-19 virus is fever, dry cough, and tiredness. Less common symptoms, but I think it's something you should know because a lot of people are not aware of this. Aches and pains, sore throat, diarrhea, conjunctivitis, uh, headache, loss of taste or smell, a rash on the skin or discoloration of fingers or toes. And serious symptoms of COVID-19 are difficulty breathing or shortness of breath, chest pain or pressure, and loss of speech or movement. So it can go that bad, you guys. So if you, you, if you have this serious symptoms or this uh, uncommon symptoms, you have to seek immediate medical attention if you have all these serious symptoms and always uh, be honest with where you were, whether you're at high risk group or not high risk group, just be out front with uh, what you think that you might have to the doctor and to the nurses so they know uh, how to uh, 
uh, managed for how to arrange the whole shakeup and consultation thing. So WHO said that on average, it takes five to six days from when someone is infected with the virus for symptoms to show. However, it might take up until 14 days. So you just have to be aware of where you are, where you were, just tracing up, actually help you to remember where you have been in the past seven to 14 days. And there was some question about uh, COVID-19 related to pregnancy and breastfeeding. Here's some information from the WHO regarding pregnancy and breastfeeding. The question is whether COVID-19 can be passed from a woman to her unborn or newborn baby. The WHO said that they still do not know if a pregnant woman uh, with COVID-19 can pass the virus to her fetus or baby during pregnancy or delivery. And to date, the active virus has not been found in samples of fluid around the baby in the womb or in breast milk. So the question, another question is whether COVID-19 be passed to breastfeeding. The answer is the transmission of COVID, uh, of active COVID-19 through breast milk and breastfeeding has not been detected to date. There's no reason to avoid or stop breastfeeding. Another question is, can women with confirmed or suspected COVID-19 breastfeed? The answer is yes. Women with confirmed or suspected COVID-19 can breastfeed if they wish to do so. They should wash their hands frequently with soap and water or use alcohol-based hand rub, and especially before touching the baby. They should wear a medical mask during any contact with the baby, including while feeding. Sneeze or cough into a tissue, then dispose of it immediately and wash hands again. Routinely clean and disinfect surfaces and matters that mothers have touched. And it is very important to replace medical masks as soon as they become damp and dispose of them immediately. Masks should not be reused or touched in the front. Or if you cannot find surgical masks, um, at least the fabric mask, the cloth mask, is something that you can use too. And that is the news update for today. But you can follow us on YouTube, on Facebook, and also on Twitter for more updates during the day. We will keep you current with not just COVID-19 news, but whatever else that happened in Thailand or in ASEAN. And we will come back to you live to uh, report you more on COVID-19 outbreak in Thailand at 7 p.m. with Nat Na. And that is all the news in this edition of Thai BBS World News Update. Sweaty Khan.